What is going on fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here. In today's video, we are talking about everything in regards to Red Dead Online, Red Dead Redemption 2, Rockstar Games, and so much more. If you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like. Let's go for 500 likes on this video. Let's crush that goal and uh, let's get right into it. As you guys know, these last few weeks, I went on a little vacation. Um, I bought a really cheap flight to Hawaii. I was there for about 10 days. As you guys know, with all the Romna stuff happening right now, it's a little crazy out there. One thing I want to say is guys, stay safe. Um, wash your hands, do all the things that you need to do to keep yourself safe from the issues currently happening around the world. I wish all of you guys the best. And I'm going to tell you guys a little bit, something, a little story that currently is happening to me and uh, we'll see what happens. So first things first, I went to Hawaii, uh, had a great trip. And, um, as I was there, things progressively started to get worse with this whole thing. Um, slowly, but surely this virus started becoming a really big problem. Uh, where they started, you know, shutting down international flights. Uh, cities are now shut down. All these things are happening. And um, I'm now back in Miami. I'm back home in Florida. But um, the people that I was hanging out with in Hawaii uh, are now showing symptoms of the virus. And I am a little worried because I was hanging out with them. They are now checked into the ER. They're under quarantine for the next few days. Uh, they got tested, so we're waiting for those results. I'm not personally showing any symptoms of anything. Uh, I feel fine. I It's been now four days, and there's an incubation period of, thing of up to 14 days. So I'm going to keep you guys up in the loop. If I get super sick, you guys will know. Um, right now, everything is still full steam ahead. There's I, I have a big streaming date uh, planned this Friday on the 20th, where I'm making a big return to Twitch. So... If you guys want to come hang out and come see me live 5 p.m. EST on Twitch uh, this Friday on the 20th, 5 p.m. Link will be found in the description and, of course, on screen right now. You guys can go to that link. Go hit a follow, and I'll be playing games like GTA 5, possibly Red Dead Online, and maybe some Call of Duty. I'm not sure exactly what the plan is. Most likely just GTA 5. I'm not really sure. I'm really happy about this announcement. It's something I've been working on for many, many months with Twitch to do a long-term contract deal with them. It's super awesome, and I look forward to hanging out with you guys and doing some live stuff. Now, with all that said, as you guys know, Rockstar recently just sent home all their employees. Um, they're on lockdown. New York City itself is in a complete like lockdown. It's going crazy, shutting down restaurants, shutting down all this stuff. Um, offices are working from home. Rockstar Games employees are also working from home, which is like a first. They've never had uh, to do something to this scale. A lot of companies have not ever had to do this and especially rockstar with how um nda non-disclosure they are and secretive with their projects it's really really surprising that a lot of employees are working from home and have access to sensitive material at home that's something that's like not normal at all but um i don't know what that means for the future of the games that we currently play like red dead online and gta 5 red dead Online, as you guys know has hit a weird of a funk um we don't know like where it's at it's 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 progressing but it's a little bit slower than many of us want it to be and a lot of us want more out of the game than we're currently getting there's a lot of things that we want to come to the game that we haven't seen yet and of course rockstar is uh very limited on their information and news that is coming out of the game the last thing that we received was a uh, rank and rewards benefits for red dead online players and uh it was just like free things you get in order to uh, encourage newer players to play the game and rank up the issue with this is that a lot of us in this community, especially the fellow outlaws, um, have been playing this game for a very long time, and we've already reached ranks like 50, 60, 70. So having to um, get rewards for like things that we've already achieved is not really that great. Um, it's not something that people are super excited about. It's not something that is making players come back, but it is keeping new players playing, which is also a great thing because it's keeping the newer audience very interested in the game. The issue is that I personally am not super all about Red Dead Online loading it up every day. Like, I'm not addicted to the game. After a while, that gets sort of old. I want something to bring me back to the game where it's like, oh my god, I have to check out this new update. I haven't had that feeling in a while for a Red Dead Online uh, since the Frontier Pursuits, and I'm waiting for that feeling again. I know many of you guys are also on the same boat. Let me know in the comment section what level you are right now, of course. And of course, what was your favorite update to date? This way I can really fully understand where everybody is at in the community because I feel like many of us are at different points in our life cycle of Red Dead Online. Many of us have played the game for uh, many, many months or years. Um, when it 
first came on PS4, Xbox One, or some of you guys are brand new PC players. All these are possibilities, especially with all the sales I've been currently having for PC, PS4, and Xbox One to play Red Dead Online, and of course, uh, the PlayStation Plus rewards that we've been getting uh, here and there, and the free weekends we've been getting for uh, Red Dead Online. So, all in all, it's been a very interesting um, chain of events that we've been getting for Red Dead Online and Red Dead Redemption 2. With everything happening in the real world, though, when it comes to people not being able to go to work, people not being able to go to school, and everyone has more free time, we can expect a brand new player base to try Red Dead Redemption 2 and to jump into the game. But then again, I'm not exactly sure how long those players will stay active because once normal life kicks back up or we have obligations and things we have to do, I don't know if they're going to keep playing because the game right now feels very limited, feels very dull in, in the things that um, many of the uh, returning players feel. I know a lot of the issues we ran into a few weeks ago earlier in the month as well as last month or I guess in the lifespan of Red Dead Online when it came to animal problems and of course just glitches and bugs. Those issues for the most part have been resolved. Um, not probably entirely, but there is a great, I guess, pace we're making in a great direction for the game to overall be improved and be better. Right now, Rockstar is of course um, not working from their offices. I don't know what that means for future updates. I don't know if there's gonna be any updates this week, next week, next month. I don't know. I don't like now like before we were sort of in limbo because like we just didn't know what rockstar was up to because they're so secretive but now like i don't know what that means for the game as it as it stands because of this whole issue we ran into uh with this virus so hopefully things do get better i don't know exactly what is going on um because i was on vacation for so long and doing my thing and having a good time i got back if you guys missed that vlog go check it out it's on my main channel it's amazing um, I'm sort of in a limbo. Like I got back and th there was no grocery at the grocery store. There's like nothing I could do. I couldn't order on Amazon. Couldn't like order Instacart. Couldn't do anything for them to deliver groceries to my house because they're all like no scheduled deliveries available. And like my mom's like, Hey, there's no meat at the grocery store. So what do you want? I'm like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so it, it's been, uh, it's been definitely a weird transitional period for me coming back from a trip and not really knowing what to do or what to eat or like what I'm doing. But uh, I'm getting back into the swing of things. Please, guys, let's all hope and pray that I don't get sick. I do not want to get this coronavirus issue. Um, I feel like it, it, it would literally be the worst thing possible because so many people are uh, at home bored and want to play games, want to watch videos, and I want to make videos and, and play games with you guys. So. If I were to get sick, it would literally be the worst thing ever. So please don't get sick, Garrett. No getting sick. Stay healthy. I've been drinking lots of liquids. I've been doing everything I can to make sure I stay on top of, you know, if I do have anything in me, my immune system is slugging away at this thing, fighting it off. Um, all in all, I hope Rockstar. I hope all of you guys. I hope everything goes the way it needs to go and everyone stays healthy and doesn't get into some serious issues. If you guys are still going to work, if you are still a, a normal functioning member of society, uh, please be careful. Be out there and do what you got to do to stay safe. Wash your hands. Ha have some hand sanitizer. Do what you got to do um, to not get sick, uh, especially if you have older family members that you live with or um are older just be safe guys i don't want to hear anyone from our community getting sick and or, or passing away or running into issues because of the things that are currently going on in the world that are absolutely crazy um i love you guys i appreciate all the support make sure you guys tune in on friday the 20th 3 p.m est twitch.tv slash javas garrett i'll be live doing some rp and uh gta stuff so if you guys want to come hang out it's going to be an emotional freaking day it's gonna be an emotional stream. It's gonna be a roller coaster of emotions, and I hope to see you guys all there. Um, all in all, big thanks for the love, support, the care you guys have been showing. And um, dudes, I really, really hope I don't get sick. Like, I look healthy, I feel okay. I don't feel like a thousand percent, but I'm not sure if that's because I've been eating food that I shouldn't be eating. I don't know. We'll see. I if I listen. If I gotta drink this stuff, I'll freaking drink it, all right? I don't care. I'm not gonna get sick. There's no way. I'm No, 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 no. We'll see what happens. I love you guys, support you guys, and I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you guys uh, tomorrow with the brand new video. We'll see how this all goes. Pray for me. I'm gonna need it. Click on the screen right now to watch any of the videos on my left or my right to go um, support some of the other videos I've uploaded recently on the channel that you may have missed. 
Uh, I've been super inactive. I'm sorry. I know I want to do more. I love you. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now. Click on the screen. The video is ending. I'll catch you guys later. Click anywhere on the screen right now to go watch the next video. Bye, guys. See you. Bye.